Hi guys, I'm just making a little update video here. I haven't had a video up on my channel for quite a while now. So the, basically I got the two graves. These are all sorted out. I'm working a lot with them. Got my sickle mower. I've been doing some underbrush clearing with that. With the Commercial 12. That's running really good. Got it all tuned up and everything. I'm basically using the L8 as my dedicated garden tractor. I got the road tiller on it. And that thing's been working really hard in my garden across the street. I got six rows of corn. And it's about 70 feet long. So I'm going to have a farm stand and whatnot. I got four rows of potatoes, each about the same length, too. So I'm going to have a little farm stand and whatnot there. I've been mowing lawns at the Commercial 12, too. My mower deck over there. Got it painted up just so it matches the tractor. And I'm also, one of my relatives gave me a 1926 Ford Model T. Um, here's the engine and the transmission that's going to go in it. Because the engine is like the head off it for 50 years. You see, you got the head off and everything. And look, I think Ford, <laughs> there's hemispherical combustion chambers. And this was a little bit before Chrysler brought along the Hemi. And so you see there, hemispherically, you got spark plugs there and whatnot. So I've been slowly taking the thing apart. The engine is seized up quite badly. Um, but the cylinders are in good shape. The cylinder walls don't have any rust on them. The cylinders themselves, the pistons themselves are in good shape. Um, most of the valves are free. I'm just letting them, the uh, pistons sit with penetrating oil in them. I'm trying to free them up. I pull off the transmission cover. That was in good shape. Um, it, the transmission itself, I mean, except that, like most of the other engine, it was filled with rat's nests and acorns and whatnot. The water jacket on the head TC up there is where the water flows around the combustion chambers and whatnot. Um, I was full of crap, and I'm still cleaning those out. My dad brought over the air compressor hose he was borrowing it, so I got to spray all that crap out with the air gun. Um, transmission was full of that too, so I've been slowly cleaning out the engine. Um, Pulled off the oil pan inspection cover right there, off the bottom of the engine, and all that fell out was rat's nest. So I've been slowly cleaning that out here. Let me get a light to look up inside. I gotta take the air compressor to it. It was before I was just cleaning out by hand, which isn't the funniest thing in the world. I don't know what you see up there, but it's not that pretty. You see, you got the crank. It's not that pretty, really. So, you see the valve springs. They're all nice and clean and in good shape and whatnot. So, that's that. And, um, we'll go over and take a look at the car itself now. It's quite misty and rainy out today, so I thought I'd make a video. There's my garden across the street, if you can see those posts sticking up from the ground. So here's the car. This is in my big barn. No space in my shop. You see, it's pretty crowded in there. Lights take a little bit to warm up, but um, it's a 1926 two-door sedan. Um, he um bought it in 1953 and ran it for about one year and just parked it. He has when well, this relative of mine has about four barns all full of Model T parts. He has about four complete cars. And then about enough parts to make six other cars, all in pieces. He's got one ton, of T, multi one ton truck parts and everything. So I've been slowly, slowly cleaning the car up, getting the interior. As you can see, it is very ratty in there. These lights take such a long time to warm up. So I don't know if you can see anything in there, but it's he wrote, when the tires aren't flat, he wrote on the metal rims. So I'm gonna get I need to get new rims for it. The guy has a whole bunch of wire wheels in the adapter hubs for the Model T, and those look really nice and run a lot smoother. So um, I'm gonna buy those wire wheels off and hopefully and slap those on here. But that's not gonna be for a little bit. I gotta get that engine running. Gotta get the engine in it. Cause he, oh yeah, I gotta show you the engine. The engine in this car. The engine in this car has had the head off for about 50 years. The only good thing on it, really, I don't know what you can see in there, but the only good thing on it, really, is a horn 
and the aftermarket water pump, which you don't really need. You only need those when you're working the engine really hard. Sometimes it'll push the water through the engine, through the radiator, so fast that it doesn't have time to cool down. So it depends. Every engine is different on these Model T's machine. It was quite inaccurate back then. And plus it's got a good horn and a good coil box. So I'll get those off it. Um, so, <laughs> not much really good with that engine. Um, okay, I don't know if you can see more of the interior now. Yeah, the camera's picking it up. But, um, it's pretty ratty. See, so you got the back seat back there. It's really, really bad. Um, but he added a gas pedal to it. You know, it's got the standard high and low pedal, brake and reverse. And he added a gas pedal. I don't know if you can see that handle right here. But it, this car has the Ruxtal two-speed rear axle. It doesn't give you two ex, extra high and an ex, it doesn't give you a high high and a low or low. It just gives you two in between gears, between the high and the low. So going up a hill, you have an extra gear so you don't have to wait and then kick it down into the really low. I don't know if you can see the two-speed axle back there, but the differential housing is bigger. It has the two, two gear ratios. Or not. 26 and 7 difference between the red and regular Model T's. It had a lot of changes. Bigger brake bands in the transmission. Transmission actually runs in the brake. Bigger um, brake drums. Um, key start, which you see right there on the dash. And a whole bunch of other improvements. Also, the roof on this car is all wood ribbed canvas. See, it's pretty rotted. But um, basically, I'm going to get the engine running, put it in it, um, make the interior livable and get those wheels and whatnot on it and then leave it. I think I like, there's a lot of stories with this car and a lot of people have run in this car and whatnot. So I'm pretty much going to leave it as is. Also, you see here, I'm going to leave this fender and see how it's sort of misshaped. Um, that one's when he was driving down the hill and this wheel came off and it all got busted up. So you got a lot of stories to tell and whatnot. And I think it's really neat sort of the way it is. So it's going to be not a restoration, but a preservation. Let's see. So I think it'll be a fun uh, little job. It'll keep me busy for a while. <laughs> and whatnot. And it's actually a pretty good looking car. It's been in this barn since, since before my dad was born. Since 1954. It's been sitting in there. I don't know if you get better light on this side of the engine. See, it's got a good horn. It's got an aftermarket water pump behind it. It's got a coil box and whatnot. So, and it's got the fan and whatnot. And that's all I need off that engine. Then I'll be pulling that engine out pretty soon here. So, yeah. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave comments and as much help as I can get with this Model T. Um, I do know a little bit about them. Because I volunteered at the Transportation Museum locally, and they all, all the guys there, no Model T's like the back of their hands. So they've been helping me out quite a bit. So, yeah, I'm going to just please leave some comments and good advice. So, okay. Thanks a whole bunch. Um, check out some of these other guys' channels. Check out Five Tractor Guy. He, um, I'm subscribed to him. Good channel. And um, got um, well, a whole bunch of other channels on there. So, that, the good Gravely videos and tractor videos and whatnot. Check some of those other guys out. You see I'm subscribed to them on my channel page. You click on any of those guys. They have some really good videos. Okay, thanks for watching. See you later.